Hello everyone, my name is Gauthier Papon, I am the CEO of Arbolite. Welcome to part one of this series about Daybook 2, Daybook Analysis. Daybook 2 is the software companion to our hardware line of product. It is designed to give you answers to two questions. Is something wrong with my system? And how is my, is my system performing? These are simple questions that can be very hard to answer. Daybook 2 answer these questions with its two components, Daybook Analysis and Daybook Data Manager. Daybook Analysis goal is to answer these questions by giving you quantified information about a system performances at a specific given time. It's the absolute way of measuring performances. Daybook Data Manager goal is to answer these same questions by giving you information about one or several systems evolution throughout time. It's a way to measure performances relative to past performances. Today's topic is Daybook Analysis. With Daybook Analysis, you will be able to measure the performances of your system on up to nine different analysis domains. You will be able to measure illumination in homogeneity, lateral resolving power, field distortion, intensity response, line spread function, stage drift during the stacking, spectral response, lateral chromatic shift, and stage motion control. All these information you will be able to save them and share them as an easy to process CSV file or as an easy to print PDF reports or as an easy to use database. Now let's jump into Daybook 2 and see how we can do that. All right, so when you start Daybook 2, you are presented with both components of the software to choose from. Today I will choose Daybook Analysis. Daybook analysis inputs are images of Argolite hardware products, such as the Argo HM slides, images taken with my imaging system. Ideally, I would acquire these images and have Daybook on the same computer, so I can directly go from imaging the slides to analyzing the images. Once I have my images, I click on Analysis. I've got two panels, a listing of files here and the preview panel here on the right. To add a file, I click on Upload File and select the one I want to upload in the software. Daybook 2 is compatible with a large number of file formats, including proprietary formats such as Lakers, Zeiss, Nikons or Olympus. Once I have my image, I can select the type of analysis I want to perform. Today I want to perform lateral resolving power. Each of these uh, analysis requires a specific type of images. If I don't know what type of images I need, I can go to help, select the name of the test, and I will get an easy to read PDF that explains me what type of image I should take and how to process them. For the lateral resolving power tests, I need a lined, a square line pattern so I can start the analysis. The final step is the ability to crop the images if you have several patterns, patterns in the field of view. It is not the case here, so I can directly click on run. Okay, so now I've got my results, and maybe I want to share that with After Sales. To do so, what I can do is to generate a PDF report, and by clicking directly here, export the raw data as a CSV file, or save those information in the Daybook database. I will demonstrate the PDF report generation. So I click on the button, 
I just select a name for this uh, PDF report and I click on save. And then in a few seconds, I get a ready to print, easy to use PDF report containing all the graphs, all the images from the results and all the data that could be useful for my technician after sales to assess the uh, performances of my microscopes. Of course, if I want to, I can also try to um, do some troubleshooting and maybe redo the images and the analysis after cleaning the objective or performing some basic troubleshooting tasks. So thank you for viewing this short video. If you need any more information, do not hesitate to contact us at contact at argolite.com on our website argolite.com. I wish you a great day. Thank you.